Everyone coming together in that way has just been, has given me such strength. The clock chimes, the baby cries. I turn around and he's six feet high. And as I let him go and watch him fly, I know it all comes down to Light the candles and I'll cut the cake. I'll make a wish for every heart that breaks. Sweet forgiveness never made a mistake. You know it all comes down. I got down here, I met with uh, Lieutenant uh, Owen McCaffrey from New York City SU. We had to climb out in the middle of the plaza, underneath, about 30 yards underneath the debris field, into a, a hole that was on fire underneath, it was on fire on the other side. Unbeknownst to me, I was working alongside this one officer for a couple hours, this girl Tracy Ricker, and she, she just was such an inspiration to me, and uh, I really admire her for the job she did that night. I like to thank Letty Mojica, a um, buddy of mine that uh, was in the Trade Center. Um, she helped me release a lot of guilt I had for surviving the collapse. And I had never met her before, but she just uh, said the right things and hugged, and it was like a big weight lifted off my shoulders. I can't see him out there, but I want Bill Keegan to come up here and talk to you. I'm you. I am you. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that each and every one of you would be if you were singled out in a group like this. I would like to ask some people to come forward. Larry, Danny, Iron Workers 40. John Ryan, Ed Sigali, are you here from Tully? Ed Sigali, Chief Harton, Chief Werner, Kevin Murphy, Kevin Devlin, please. John Moran, John Moran, NYPDESU, Charlie Bitchers, Bovis. EMS, Carlos Lopez, EMS, Medical Examiner's Office, Jules, Jules, step up here, and for all those prayers that were said over our loved ones, Father Tom, Father Tom, would you please step forward. Come 
Monica, would you step forward, please? Barbara Mann. Barbara Mann, Port Authority Police Department, Caroline Hennessy from the PBA, who has worked with the families, and I like her to step forward. Where's Bobby Gray and Martin Riley? London Allen from the World Trade Center 911, would you step up and give us a hand? I want, I want you to ask these people if there's a hero here. There, no, they're not. There are no heroes here. And we want you to know that. If I say anything to you tonight, we are not heroes. The heroes are those 2,823 people who went to work that day and sacrificed their lives to live the American dream as we know it. It is their families, their loved ones, their children, their wives, their mother, their fathers, their brothers and sisters. They're the heroes. We are... Uh, we went through a lot of emotions together, and uh, we worked very hard together. And uh, we've called it a lot of different things, I guess, and we've searched for uh, words that might describe what we had been doing down there. And uh, crusade, mission, tour of duty, trying to compare it to some sort of war. But I recently read a sermon that was given by Philip Paterna, uh, who was a chaplain who had um, given many uh, blessings down at uh, Ground Zero, and everybody who worked down there would know her. Uh, she's a little bit of a thing. Uh, but uh, she had defined vocation, and uh, the definition of vocation was when one's a place where your deepest desires meet the world's deepest needs. That's where we were. It was our deepest desire to rescue every single person. And that transitioned into the reality that we needed to recover every single person. And those were the goals we set. And those were the goals we aspired to. And every single person here did everything they could to meet that goal. We, we, we did not attain our goals, but we did not fail. <laughs>